Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another commentary done by. Whoops, bumped my mic there. Hopefully that didn't pick up on the with the, like a big broom on the. Well, then I just made one. Whatever. Upper ink one. We got Raz, everybody's favorite Protoss. It's starting as the uh, purple color. That's actually very fetching purple. I haven't seen that quite very often on Protoss. Bottom left corner we have Pandora starting as the Peach Terran. This is going to be on Eclipse, I believe, and this might be a grudge match. Raz wasn't entirely sure. So Raz, uh, a participant in, in CPL, Pandor, a participant in CPL, uh, CPL as well. Pandor, a very, very good player, I should remark. But Raz, one of the top Protoss in North America, I would argue. It's him, TT, TT1 when he's active, G5 when he's active, uh, Jayun right now, obviously very, up, uh, very much up there. I'm trying to think of other top level Protoss that are in the North American groupings, but anyway, it's escaping me right this second. Initial pylon being dropped and a move out, but Raz also off races Terran, and apparently in some of the CPL matches, Pandor went up against Raz TVT, and Raz was actually able to pull the victory, so he's wondering if there might be some grudge or revenge planned here from Pandor, and we'll see. Pandor a good dude, though I'm not sure he's like all that bitter about it. And look at this, Raz wanting to be sneaky going all the way around. He can go for the gas steal, but on the edge of vision here, he might, I was thinking he might even go for that pylon drop, but instead just making sure he went for the gas steal. Pandor, not really all that concerned about it, it looks like. Trading off an SCV to go ahead and battle that probe initially. The probe down to some base health damage. But that does create some interesting build order adjustments here. Does Raz follow this up with an initial Zealot? With that gas deal, oftentimes that delays factory tech, which makes, which can make Zealots more effective in the early stages. SCV scout moving out for Pandor just to go ahead and scope out the situation. Supply Depot dropping. And again, that damaged SCV being pulled off the lines to engage in battle. Reminds me of, for some reason, it reminds me of that uh, Kung Fu Panda meme where our battle would be epic. Waiting on the Marine constructed. Second Zealot already queued. So we got one Zealot out, second Zealot queued. Panda, we're going to see that initial Zealot making its way this direction. So knows he needs to be on alert. Probe going to back off for now, make sure it doesn't take any damage so it can cycle back around. This could be a big headache for Pandora and definitely delay that natural expansion. A bit. It looks like Panda are going to go ahead and drop an engineering bay to delay things opposite side as well. Although that SCV taking a good amount of damage might want to draw it off. Marine and SCVs working on the front. And let's see if Pandor, yeah, okay, has eyes, sees the Zealot, that somewhat damaged probe making its way back. And so the SCV is now pulling off the line. So it's going to be three versus one and a half, I'll say. But a nice defense, that's drawing back. The second Zealot's going to march in, but already base health on this offensive Zealot. So Pandor putting up a pretty good defense. Going to go ahead. So he's managed to take out that Assimilator. Re-engaging. This time Raz able to get on top of the Marines. Going to at least get one right there. A bunker being constructed. And let's see if he's able to dis uh, delay that natural expansion. One's all able to stop that bunker construction and Pandor having some trouble following this up. He didn't queue up additional Marines in the... Mar oh, sorry, he had a fourth Marine out. Probe gets the kill right there. So now, being boxed out of his command center. Let's see. Hopefully a cancellation isn't forced, but this is definitely delaying early game economy. Z one's all able to get some additional SCV kills as it's taking the SCVs on solo here. And that command center health is plummeting. Pandora having a lot of trouble. Now one Zealot's taken out. Four versus the rest. Doesn't look like he's going to get an additional kill. Pandora able to defend, but very delayed command center. Nexus almost already two-thirds finished. And a defensive cannon here from Raz. Interesting follow-up play. Just to make sure he didn't need to produce any additional troops and didn't get run over. That was a very cautious follow-up. Or maybe to deal with a potential vulture follow-up should the factory being uh, be constructed. So Zealot testing the front. Maybe he was wondering if there was going to be like a mass marine follow-up, something along those lines. Some more Zealots being constructed. That cannon's going to warp in, yeah. And so I think this in response to having maybe later 
cybernetics core and fewer dragoons in initial game. We do see two factories plopping down. Command center floating out to create a bit of a blockade. All of those marines somewhat damaged. As far as the follow-up, the SCV gonna wander up and see that cannon. That's gotta be a head puzzler there for Pandor. But three zealots making way there the front with that first vulture. Looks like we are seeing a factory out on, but with that first vulture, those zealots, unless they really have a good amount of support from the dragoon in a bit of time, could be short work. Raz, in the meantime, does have the economic lead. Got a lot of workers to follow things up. Kind of a fun forward blockade, which definitely would give some vultures some trouble. Academy dropping just to respect possible DT play. And now Raz, with those three zealots marching all the way through, is going to be able to see the additional factories. And Pandora, yeah, somewhat late in getting additional vultures down, getting yet another SCV kill. The Marine scattering, that Marine weak from earlier, dying nearly getting sneezed on and dying right there, and razzing, Raz creating all sorts of havoc. SCV's pulled off gas, now fleeing to the natural expansion. First Vulture's out, that should be, yeah, just creating all sorts of disruption with this though. Zealot still able to, so it looks like they're working on some supply depots back in that corner. I hear some additional Zealots getting some damage done, but is it just, I think that might just be latent, might be, might have my headphones reversed. The Siege Tank gonna be able to clear that up, but a good amount of economic disruption. I think those Zealots well worth it there because of just the pull and the SCV kills they've managed to get. So Pandora going to have to regroup, restock. <coughs> He's got a siege tank out. He's got his vultures out. First Dragoon out on the front. Range is going to be finished. I don't think Siege was upgraded in between all of that. Second gas up. Pandora needs to kind of regroup, but Raz in a pretty solid economic space is going to wander out and grab his third pretty comfortably. And two Dragoons on the front going to be able to get those Vulture kills and pin Pandor in. So very aggressive early play. Now Siege Tech being upgraded. Lurker Egg being attacked. So let's see if Pandor drops a third factory and gets aggressive with this. It looks like this is going to be more play towards uh, plus one weapons though. But this is four Dragoons, two Siege Tanks, and no Siege Tech as of yet behind this. Bunker goes down. Marines exposed. And this is a big threat. SCVs might have to pull off the line to help defend this, otherwise a siege tank might get picked off. Instead, Pandor pulling back and Raz just showing how annoying a Protoss can be in the early stages of this match. So it looks like Pandor just going to seed the natural expansion for the moment until siege tank finishes in a few seconds. But all sorts of economic disruption. Pandor dropped to 28 workers right here. Finally, the tank sieging up. Command center a bit battered. Dragoons pressing in might be able to get a siege tank kill. They're not going to be able to deal with the siege tanks up in the high ground. But at least, yeah, getting one right there. They might want to back off at this stage. But Raz leaving them as SCVs are being produced just to make sure that it's emptied for bonus time. Meantime, third base coming online. Doesn't have much else as far as defense or attack trooping. He does have speed upgrading and a shuttle on the way maybe a reaver to follow it up i don't know that he produced a reaver in the meantime now the dragoon's starting to back off but pandor down a lot of workers as a burning command center has a lot of frustration having to rebuild his barracks it looks like because he lost that on the front in the meantime so just very disrupted on his build order overall does have plus one weapons rolling game isn't won by raz yet but he's done a fantastic job creating chaos here in the early stages so shuttles up is he going to follow? He's, I assume he's going to follow this up with the Reaver. There's the Reaver. Three Dragoons waiting on the front. Six kills on that Dragoon. That is a lot of kills. A Goliath out to respect... <coughs> excuse me, to respect, respect prop, uh, possible Reaver follow-up drop. Starport being built for Pandor. I think that's to move more to plus two weapons rather than to build anything anti that direction, but in the meantime, a uh, fantastic worker count. Citadel of Adun down not a massive amount of troops on the ground, but that's going to change in a hurry as we've got five, honestly, a sixth and seventh gateway could easily be dropped for Raz and he can handle it. Got two zealots waiting on that reaver alongside. He's got a good folding of dragoons out on the front. The folding, I guess, now going to be the proper name of a grouping of four dragoons. Not sure where that word came from. 
flurry of compsats just to see the situation, mostly look at the gateway count. I presume. Behind this. So we got what? That's six, seven? Yeah, seven gateways to work with. And on top of that, with the gas he's got, Raz could go ahead and make his way to Arbiter Tech if he wants. You could also go ahead and move up and grab a fourth. He's got decent positioning to do so. So now with five siege tanks, two Goliaths, Raz moving out is going to be able to speed his way in. And there's no turrets here, so might be able to get a drop. Dropping that Zealot first to create a bit of havoc and make the way out. Targeting the siege tanks rather than the Goliaths, though. So that is going to go ahead. Wanted to get that siege tank, but that's going to go ahead and push that shuttle back out. Third factory up and running. Engineering base, second armory coming alongside for Pandora, but Pandora already down significant amounts of supply. And it looks like Raz... So he's got the Templar Archives. He's got a second Reaver in construction. Looks like he... I think this is going to turn into... He could Gateway Man this if he wants to. But I think this is going to turn into a fourth Athen Love O'Clock and a full over towards Arbiter play. From what it's looking... Uh, what, what it's looking... Scythe Storm is being upgraded. It's possible, honestly, that Raz just might play this straight up shuttle. And it looks like he is building, he does want to go for Shuttle High Templar rather than Arbiter play right here. As he's starting to gauge, starting to set up to go ahead and take his fourth. Pandor, let's see if he drops down, yeah, that Command Center interior to go ahead and eventually maybe be in a position to grab his third. Getting a fourth factory up, kind of playing that hybrid space. Five factories, it's a lot of troops, but honestly, Raz has such the supply lead that I don't... He really need. Actually, I would drop a fifth factor if it was Pandora right here, just to get the troop count he might need to deal with the whatever Raz is throwing at him. Two Reavers just sitting on the edge, wanting to get some free shots off, getting a few hits, scooping up before the tank's able to siege. And Pandora slowly crawling his way towards that nine o'clock. We have some high Templar in position. Size Storm just finishing, so they might be able to get some juicy storms off depending on grouping, and now Raz going for it. Shuttle speeding on top of those siege tanks. Reaver's getting wiped out, but the Scythe Storm right there alongside didn't quite get the Scarab, but still all three siege tanks gone, and now Pandor not only getting shoved out of his third base, also ending up losing position on that natural expansion once again. Is there additional Scythe Storm to deal with some of these workers at the natural? Pandor gonna GG right there. Beautifully played from Raz. Just really carving up things. Good tournament for him. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.